in today's video, we're going to take a look at why Moises Caicedo is going to be a good fit for Chelsea after recent reports that talks are advancing and Chelsea are looking more and more likely to be acquiring Caicedo for around £80 million. On screen now, you can see Moises Caicedo's FB ref player profile stats. So as you can see, he really excels in his defensive actions, making 2.87 tackles per 90, which is in the top 87 percentile, interceptions in the top 89 percentile with 1.61 per 90, and then still putting in over one aerials, one per game, and over one block per game, and nearly one clearance per game. So these stats show that Chelsea will be getting a an all-action defensive midfielder, which is what they have been crying out for to unleash Enzo Fernandez further up the pitch, which we'll get onto later in this video. Also, a quick thing to note, Caicedo also makes six, around 65 passes a game and completes nearly 90% of them with 88.5% completion, which is in the top 94 percentile of pass completion amongst midfielders. Also making 6.28 progressive passes, so his passing is actually quite underrated for what it is. So these are also good stats to have in there with Enzo Fernandez because he can pass the ball off, shuttle up the ball when Fernandez is further forward. So it means he's very comfortable in that first phase of play. So if Enzo joins the front front five in certain situations, tactically under Pochettino when there's rotations, Caicedo is more than capable of playing out from the back and being the link between the midfield and the forwards to get Enzo on the ball. The next two images are Caicedo's season heat map and then a an example of his average positions against Manchester City. This just shows how much ground Caicedo covers everywhere in the centre of the pitch. Obviously, there's sporadic cases where he presses forwards, which is where he goes into those corners and really tries to disrupt play and get on the ball. And you'll see the same with the average positions from Manchester City. A lot of it is deep central positions, recovering the ball and then passing it off with that extra passing ability that we went over. So how would it look under Pochettino? You've got the two in the hole here, the two in the pivot, Enzo and Caicedo in a 4-2-3-1. As you can see, it would allow Enzo to push forward and make that front five with Caicedo really holding that midfield and shuttling across to cut all the passing lanes. Both of these players are very good in the first phase of play. So either one of them can drop in and help to play and they can create boxes. So as you can see, the two centre-backs in this scenario with Enzo and Caicedo, that would make a defensive box to play out from the back. The full-backs could then push high. And then in this scenario, you'd have the attacking mids, sort of how Pochettino liked to tuck his right attacking mid inside. This would allow Chelsea to create another box midfield. So they're creating two different boxes to help them play out from the back and advance play. Enzo is, of course, obviously adept enough in defensive areas as well to allow Caicedo to go on and push. So in certain scenarios where Caicedo can go forward and try and intercept the ball in higher areas of the pitch where he tries to pin in defenders, this would mean Enzo can drop a little bit deeper just to make sure there's some cover for Caicedo when doing this. So what do you guys think about this move? I personally think this is going to be an amazing move for Chelsea. I think with Kante leaving, this is the exact sort of player that Chelsea need to target. And I think he could really revolutionise that midfield alongside Enzo for the next decade.